In today's video, we're going to see what a home distiller can remove from your soda. Nate, you have a distiller. I do. This is a home water distiller. It's for making distilled water, which is used in some things like nebulizers and nasal rinse. You're supposed to use distilled water. My grandma gave this to me. She no longer needed it and said, hey, maybe you could do something fun with it. So here I am about to try something fun with it. Here's the basic idea. We have a filtering pitcher and a home distilling machine. We're going to run a number of different liquids through both of them to see what they remove. Can we get clean water from soda? This is a standard filter. This is a Brita brand pitcher for making filtered water. We've got a number of things that we want to put through both of them and see what they remove. And this isn't like a comparison. We're not just saying like, oh, look, your Brita doesn't remove. It's, it does what it's supposed to. I'm just curious. Now, we're not the first people to try putting weird things in a Brita filter. I think several people have done that. I'm pretty sure I've seen Rhett and Link do several videos with yes. that. I haven't seen many videos with people using a distiller, and maybe that's because these are kind of expensive to buy new. But since I have one, we're gonna try it out. What happens here, so this comes apart in two parts, and you can see this is all hard water. This is basically calcium and lime from your drinking water that has just built up on the sides. Then this part here is basically a cooling fan with a tube running through it. Um, so the water boils, this is basically an electric kettle. The water boils, the hot steam goes up into the, the coil up here, which is basically got a radiator fins on it. And then a fan cools it down and the water drips out right here. And the idea is that only the water will actually boil in here. All of the- Steams up. Yeah, all of the particles, all of the, you know, whatever, is in the water, you know, the minerals that are dissolved into your water won't come up. And like that lime and calcium buildup that you see. That's yeah, not gonna end up in your water when you're done. That just stays in the machine. Uh, and you know, it probably could be cleaned a little bit better, but the idea is just that only the water is able to get out. And so what you end up with is essentially pure water that's also just been boiled a lot. So if there was any contaminants in it, that's also completely dead. So it's supposed to be completely sterile, pure water. So I think what we wanna try is we do have the Dr. Pepper, we've got apple juice, and I also just want to make salt water, and then I want to just try putting some food coloring into water to see if either of these machines removes just the coloring. A dye stuff in as the well. water, if it'll actually so, remove it. Yeah, it may take a while, because none of these are gonna go instantly. Sure. So we may have to sort of set things up and let them run for 20 minutes and then Here, reset. this one will be quick. Can I have the Brita filter real quick? And I also bought a few extra filters in case like, the Dr. Pepper ruins the filter so much that clean water doesn't come through it clean anymore. I don't know where all this liquid is going right, right now. Right now it's just it's filling just chilling, this reservoir yes. and very slowly starting <laughs> to drain through. Let's leave it right there. We don't need to run a ton no, through it. No, we That's don't. That's okay. You know, since we're starting with the Dr. Pepper, let's throw some Dr. Pepper into our distiller. We probably are not going to distill this down all the way for a few reasons. One, it would take a good long time. This machine is not terribly fast. Two, we don't actually want to reduce it completely. Um, we've dehydrated sodas before and freeze dried sodas before. We've seen what happens if we remove all of the liquid. I don't want to get burnt soda syrup on the inside of this machine that would basically stop it from working. Our goal is really just gonna be to put some into the glass and see what is coming out of it. It'll probably take 10 or 15 minutes before we start seeing anything coming out of the distiller. How long has it been? About 30 minutes. 30, 40-ish minutes. Mm -hmm. So we got half a cup of liquid in yeah. here and then we switched cups. And we did this because Brian and Jason on the Modern Rogue had distilled Dr. Pepper <laughs> and they started having like a change in their results after a first little bit. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to stop after our first about a half cup to see if it was different between the first half cup and the second half cup. Um, and I, we- Clear difference. I think this, the color is very, very minor, but I do think this has just like the slightest hint of caramel color to it. Not much. I didn't even notice it until I started it's, the second cup. Yeah, it's, you really would, but when you have a clearer cup to compare it to, I think that there is a difference. It smells, that's, that's another thing that Brandon mentioned was how strongly it smells. It just you smells smell like- You smell and you're like, oh, Dr. Pepper. It just smells like Dr. Pepper. Stronger than that. It almost just smells like an amaretto syrup. It doesn't just smell like Dr. Pepper. It smells like concentrated Dr. Yes, Pepper. absolutely. Our Brita filter had sort of stalled. It, it had problems. very little and then just kind of wasn't doing anything else. I tried just tilting it around, sloshing it a bit, and that seems to have 
gotten it going again. So I don't know what has stopped in it. I just don't think it's filtering it. any, is it, what is it filtering? Let's go out, we have to do a taste test now. I have Definitely. to know what it filtered we, out of that. Absolutely, we're gonna, we're gonna taste test everything. There's a little bit of something. Oh, good. I do suspect that it's taken out most of it the carbonation. It has no smell. I said no smell. <laughs> I'm smelling nothing. Now I just don't remember how much normal Dr. Pepper smells. More than I know that. how much that smells. A lot. Although, you know, partly it's because it's warm maybe, but it's not much, honestly. It's still there. There's, there's more. Partly I think it's because it's bubbling and putting off gases and this is no longer at all oh, carbonated. no. It's completely flat Dr. Pepper maybe? No, it's just completely flat, sort of sugary water. It's like somebody added a little bit of vanilla and sugar to your water. Yeah, no, there's a caramel flavor to it. Hmm. It's cream soda flavor. That it's true. Yeah. This is cream soda Dr. Pepper, not standard Dr. Pepper, just because it's what was available at the store. But yeah, you really can taste like the cream soda flavor so it is, way more than the Dr. Pepper it flavor. It is taking stuff out. All the carbonation, a lot of the sugar, and a ton of the flavor. None of the caramel color, though. The first half cup of distilled. has a strong smell, a much stronger smell than just the normal, uh, the normal Dr. Pepper. And it's not very warm even. It's cooled down quite a bit. It's the opposite. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It's the opposite of what the Brita filter did. It took out all carbonation, all sugar, all color, but the only thing it left is the amaretto flavor, which without yeah. sugar isn't good. So while that one, there is no amaretto flavor left from the Brita filter. This one, that's the only thing left. The smell is really strong. The I smell think you're and right. If you don't know, Amaretto is a flavor that's found in both cherry Cherries and, and almonds. almonds. Yeah, and so you smell it, and there is a Dr. Pepper flavor scent smell to it, but there is also the like, if you think cherry or almond, then that's what you're gonna smell. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, just gonna go straight to the cleaner water. It's odd water. It's not pleasant. No, but it's water. It honestly almost tastes like sulfury. Very, yes. very minor. Oh, yeah, like if you breathe too deep at a hot spring. Yeah, or or if you're drinking water and someone started eating a hard boiled egg near you. Kind of <laughs> Gross. All right, so we've got. Oh, this smells so good. Ooh, very caramely. Ooh, yes. It's really a caramel scent. Like there's maybe a little bit of Dr. Pepper scent, but mostly I'm getting caramel. Yeah, just concentrated Dr. Pepper now. Maybe a little bit of an ice bath to try and cool this down to the point where I can actually drink some of it. How is it? It's like drinking candy. A little strong. There's no carbonation again. We've boiled that out. It's still a little too hot. I'll pour it between my two glasses. Oh yeah, that's strong. Apple juice. Apple juice. Dr. Pepper, you can make water out of Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm, it's- We don't recommend strangely it. Strangely strong smell at first, and afterward, doesn't taste great, but it kind of worked. All right, I'm just gonna pour some apple juice down into our filter. I did rinse this out, and it seems to be running fairly clear and flavorless, so. So I think we have now distilled out what looks, boy, that looks like pee. Um, <laughs> I apple mean, juice. It looks the same as it did before. Yeah, but it's not in a container labeled apple juice. Frankly, I forgot for sure which one is which, but. The, this, this is the filtered one. The one I just drank was not, or was regular. This is filtered. It's just slightly less. I legitimately cannot tell the difference between these two. Yeah, it's slightly mm -hmm. more diluted tasting. But it's like, a, it's you, pretty you minor. You dropped a, a single ice cube in there. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> minor. For the most part, I don't think a whole lot got pulled out of the apple no. juice here. Mm -mm. Nope, pretty regular. This is the first distilled. We did the same thing. We took whatever came off first, and then we put a new cup there for the rest of it. If you took all of the apple peels, from an apple and let the water soak in the apple peels for a while and the stems also. I think that's what it's what I was gonna say, like. it tastes like Where's plant. Where's it even coming from? It tastes like plant. Ugh. Cooked oh, it's plant. it's bad. Like it's No, I'm bitter. moving right on to the, the cleaner stuff. It's bitter. 
It did not take out as much flavor as it did with the soda. <laughs> I looked over at the wrong time. That's disgusting. I am amazed that that flavor is even in there to pull out. Something can be changing. Like this says 100% apple juice, which means that apple juice from concentrate. We're also cooking it. So something yeah. can be changing in the apple juice when it gets heated up and is actually creating new chemicals. The sugars and the juices and whatever plant extract parts are in there. Oh, I do not recommend this. It's bad. We're just gonna take distilled water mm -hmm. and we're going to add some salt <laughs> and some food coloring to it. And then we're just gonna run those through and see how they do. I'm mostly I just curious color. about the salt. I think we've seen some evidence about the color already. Let's find out. Man, I really hope these filter something because it was really salty before. And yeah. it'll be disgusting if it's still that salty. Very salty. Now, Britta is taking out a lot of different things, but uh, salt, apparently. Dissolved salt will not be one of them. On to our next one. So the first cup, which is uh, slightly still colored. I think there's residue from the apple juice. Yeah, but that's just <laughs> water. Wait, I think that's, yeah, so on to the next one. Mm. We did it! It, it can completely filter out color and salt. Does this Tastes mean like it's even water. bluer? No. It's just pretty blue. Pretty blue, and there's like a lot of visible residue. Yeah, I, I, I think at this point we've actually like, now. it's pulled some of the other minerals that were in it before. Mm -hmm. Stripped them all together. Because we kind of cleaned the sides with the salt here almost. I am going to taste this very small bit of uh, our concentrate. It's just concentrated salt. <laughs> Worth it. Ah! Mmm! Can you Brita filter Dr. Pepper? Not so much. You can change this flavor and get rid of some carbonation. That's true. Same with apple juice. Same with this, I don't think much happened. But distilling, I would say it worked fantastically on Dr. Pepper. It worked ish mm. on apple juice. Don't do it. Just oh, don't do it. That was bad. And, and I think this is our best result. It just pulls the salt right out exactly yeah. like it's supposed to. It's supposed to pull the minerals out. So distilling different things. We have a Brita filter. We have a distiller. Is there anything else you want to see us try? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, that's it for today, but we always have more to see. Click the button right there to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll never miss a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.